Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Be funny if he then just pulls the book and puts it back in place. Huh? Huh? Isn't that cool? That's what I wanted to show you. grandfather to honor the memory of the assassin order and protect its secrets look around these are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened and this is the armor of Altair little is known about Altair's life but his armor is light and very strong I give it to you but I don't know how to retrieve it my great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Gosh, you know, just in order thinking. to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Oh, I'm getting that armor. Don't you worry about that. That's gonna happen. Cause look at it. It's shiny. It's just so shiny. Um I was just thinking. Think back on Assassin's Creed 1, if you've ever played it or ever watched the Let's Play of it, and just the level of difference between the content in that game and the content in this game. You've got a much more expansive story, uh, much bigger and more involved cities, uh, tons of side quests that you never had in the first game, tombs to unlock, chests to make, cities to upgrade. It's just... It's, it's literally, it's true that Assassin's Creed 1 was an MVP, a minimum viable product. It's like it was a test demo. Like a, uh, just a, a proof of concept of what they could do, and Assassin's Creed 2 was the first actual game. Alright, what do we got here? Atop this pedestal stands the statue of Leonidas, the male Roman assassin... Uh, oh, sorry, Leonus. Leonidas is someone completely different from Greece, from Sparta, to be precise. Uh, Leonis, the male Roman assassin, he stabbed Caligula with a dagger. It looks like something is missing from the pedestal. You don't say. Atop this pedestal stands the statue of Iltani, the female Babylonian assassin. She poisoned Alexander the Great. It looks like something... Oh, she did, did she? Interesting. The pedestal stands the statue of Amunet, the female Egyptian assassin. She killed Cleopatra with a snake. It looks like something is missing from the pedestal. Did she? Wei Yu, atop the special stone statue of Wei Yu, a male Chinese assassin. He used a spear to kill the first Chinese emperor, Qin Shi Huang. It, yeah, it looks like something's missing. Neat. Whoops. Uh, statue of Darius, a male Persian assassin. He used his hidden blade to kill Xerxes. Ooh. Uh, Gulan Gal, the male Ma Mongolian assassin, used his bow and arrow to shoot Genghis Khan's horse because, if I remember correctly, Genghis Khan was killed by falling off his horse, I think. Neat. So I gotta do the six tombs to get the six things to unlock that to get the armor. Got it. I don't promise to do all the tombs on camera because while they are really fun to do, they aren't necessarily fun to watch. There's no real story or anything involved in it. It's just me solving jumping puzzles and stuff. Very Prince of Persia-esque. Which I enjoy, but I might save those to do um, off-camera. I might record some of them. I'm, I'm just, I make no promises, is all. 
Uh, what's my next step? Oh, well, next step is to go back to Florence, I guess. Now that I am done with the stuff here, we gotta go back to Florence. Well, first things first, I wanna go stop by the tailor shop. I should also probably stop by the art shop. Uh, I don't care about pouches. Alright, so what do we have? Tuscan Ember. That's kind of cool. Uh, Tuscan Emerald. Eh. Tuscan Copper. Tuscan Orc. I kind of like this. Like, I like the gold shirt underneath it, right? Let's do. How, how much is it? Oh, uh, that's like all my money. But that's fine. Let's do. A wise purchase. Good day, signore. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. We'll stick with that for now. I like it. I like the shirt. The the sleeves, I mean. Come and get your red hot heart fresh off the knees. I don't care about treasure maps. I'll find plenty of chests just as I go. Lady with Irami. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to know what most of these are. I might know a few of them. I, I believe they're all real. I might recognize some of the artists that come with them, but I don't know, uh... I'll buy this, because it's easy. Uh, sure, and I'll buy this as well. I'm pretty sure these are, like, famous paintings. Let me go back to the, the villa real quick. I want to see if I can take a look at those paintings. I might recognize the painters, but I don't recognize the pieces. Like I told you guys, art history is not my forte. Oh, I gotta do that thing, too, before I go. It's not my forte. I know some about Renaissance painters just by studying Renaissance history. Because, really, it's very, very difficult to uh, study one without the other. Um, how do I... Uh, maybe it's in the database? I don't know. Like, like where, where, where do I view the paintings? I thought it was in here. Oh, this is weapons. Oh, well, this isn't paintings at all. Well, um, this is where I do armor. Maybe it's upstairs somewhere. I can try. I really thought there was a place I go to look at paintings I've bought. Yes, it's here. By Giovanni Bellini. Um, actually, most even the stigmata. Giovanni Bellini is a very early Renaissance painter, I think. I remember the name. I don't remember much about him. What about the other one I bought? I bought another one. Hey. Game. You seem to be missing uh, a, just a quick painting. Hey, game. Oh, whatever. Oh, it's over there. That's why. Oh, I see. Wow, they're going to be all over the place. Uh, by Leonardo da Vinci, is it? The model for the portrait is uh, Cecilia Gallerini, the mistress of Ludovico Sforza. Um, interesting thing about Leonardo is uh, he has a, uh, a style of painting that's very naturalistic that was crazy for the time. Uh, much art back in the Renaissance had strong outlines. In other words, um, like anime, you had you could very clearly see the jaw lines and the eyebrows and the arms because they were all outlined uh, in black or other colors. Leonardo, however, um, knew that humans don't view things like that. We don't see borders and outlines, uh, and he tried to make his paintings to to match that. So he 
mastered a technique of uh, subtly changing the shades of colors and working with shadows to give it a more natural appearance so that you don't see outlines. You don't see like an outline of her jaw or her hand. It just kind of naturally blends as everything does when we look at it. He was famous for it. He was famous for that and for a style that I don't know the name of. Um, where he would put some coat of varnish on it that made everything look kind of smoky. Uh, it was actually uh, nicknamed Leonardo's Smoke. Um, but that said, he's not very good at uh, finishing stuff. We have very few works from Leonardo, honestly. We have tons of sketchbooks, and we know that he's an absolute genius. Um, but as far as, like, finished artwork... Eh, <laughs> or... You know, any work at all. Eh. Uh, even the Last Supper is almost degraded beyond repair. Because at the time, uh, paintings were done mostly as frescoes or uh, egg, uh, egg tem tempera. I was going to say tempora. That's very different. Egg tempera. Um... Which, egg tempera is where you use egg yolk as a bonding agent for your colors. Well, that's a very interesting picture. And, um, fresco is a very involved style. Where basically, you paint, uh, plaster. And then, a uh, white plaster, you put it on the wall. And then you paint on that plaster before it dries. And as the plaster hardens... It bonds with the uh, pigment of the paint, creating very strong, durable, long-lasting paintings. But it was also very, very hard because you had to do everything before the plaster dried. You had to paint very quickly. Um, and you were also limited to what colors you could use because certain things wouldn't bond well with the pigments and all that. Uh, Leonardo was one of the first to experiment in oil painting, which uh, oil paints don't require drying plaster they last much longer they're thicker there, there's a lot to it that makes them better um on the downside they are not sometimes Stay back, oh well i was gonna but now that you said something Stay back, dog. Hi. i'm only Hi. a courier boy mercy you can have it Please okay. spare me. Take what you want. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted your money. Um, the Last Supper wasn't painted on a canvas or on fresco or anything like that. It was literally just painted on a, a, a wall. And um, mold grew between the wall and the painting and basically destroyed it. Oh. Whoops, my hand. Yeah. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one. How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Okay. <clears throat> New assassination techniques. So here's what I think I'm going to do. <clears throat> to keep things more simple and to allow me to use my blades a bit more. Hmm... I was going to say, any Templars I'm all for killing, but that's still tricky, isn't it? Like I said, I don't like the idea that just because you're a Templar, you're an evil person, you know what I mean? I'll just keep going by case-by-case -case basis. 
But I also don't want to go through the whole game, you know, never using my hidden blade. I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> um, this also raises a good point. I might use these techniques when stealth is necessary. Um... Like, there's just not a good way to take someone out quickly and quietly with your fists. And if quickly and quietly is necessary, then I'll probably just do it. Alright. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox. Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Start them to amico. Oh, thank you, Leo. Hey, Leo, what about all these other codex pages I found? I've got like 10 of them. No? All right, fine. <laughs> but I, I wanna. The price of perfection is not measured in coin. Well, actually, yes, it is. Many coins. Ha ha ha. It's good times. So I now have two hidden blades. Ah, ah, ah. The assassino's capture. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I right, um, kill two enemies at once with the hidden blade. Nyah, 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 nyah. Oh, oh! I forgot to. Ah, oh, I forgot to do the whole. Oh, there's a thing. All right, I forgot to do the one at uh, Montegiorni. Well, let's find this one here. It's got to be somewhere, right? Whoa. See, like these guys. I don't want to kill these guys. But I'll take them down. All right, come here, you. This won't take long. No, no, no hammers. That's cheating. I'm just here to knock you out. There we go. Nice. But, again, I don't want the whole game to be nothing but unarmed combat, because that's forgetting and ignoring so much. Um, we'll figure it out. Oh, wait, no, I was going to, uh, find the, uh, the mark on this building. Because it says there is one. Oh, no, that's just, a. well, might as well get it. Give me that. Give me that. All right, uh, where is it? Is it around the outside of the building or something? Wait, 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 what's that? Oh, it's a feather. Well, I'll go get it, but, uh... Aha! Here it is. Here it is! The past 
a vast web of connections and interconnections, all ruled by chance, or is it? Okay. I remember these get much harder. Okay. The apple's there. Oh, it's good old Napoleon Bonaparte. That's not how you say his name at all. Okay. Apparently they're saying that he had the apple underneath his coat. And what are they also saying that George Washington did? Hmm, that might have been retconned a bit in Assassin's Creed 3. I don't recall him ever having an apple. Alright, you know, I'm not even going to try watching these videos as I get them. I'll wait until I have all of them, and then I'll watch them. Otherwise, you're just torturing yourself. Huh, can I reach it? Can I make it? I could have... I could have made it! <laughs> if my aim was better. Good lord. Come on. You can do it. Get up there. Good boy. Go get that feather. Nice. Now, let's go do the mission. He's gone mad. All right. Looking for someone who's gold. Aha! There you are. Wait, you're not him. What? My pouch. Oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> Come here, you. Get back here. Make me. Okay. I can do you're that. You're making a big mistake, my friend. Enough of this! Enough come here, come here, come here, come here. Give up? come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Gotcha! <laughs> I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Okay, why are you helping me? It's not suspicious at all. All right, so there he is. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. Well, I don't know about that.
Where is he? Oh, that's where he went. Okay. I can do that too. What on earth is he up to? What are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Well, let me move. Yeah. Whoa. Where'd he go? Are even going the right way? I hope so. Okay! No! Ouch! Well, I failed this. I think I failed this. Come on, Ezio. Oh, maybe I haven't failed it. Cutting it close, though. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Alright, there we go. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Una fortuna. Again? Why is he helping me? Hi, how's it going? How you doing? Ezio, Ezio Auditore, nice to meet you. Ah, ah, they're very observant, aren't they? <laughs> it seems a bit high tech for this era. Just a bit. Okay. Guards are on high alert. Well, of course they are. Uh, you know what? So, for the time being, I'm going to say full-blown Templars. People that aren't just city guards, but I know are Templars. I won't have as much trouble killing because it weakens the enemy. I don't know, though. Uh, we'll see. I'm so adverse to killing people. <laughs> okay. Easy enough. Oh, whoa. Uh, what the heck? Well, that worked out brilliantly. Well done, me. One must wonder, if the lever's pulled in after you push it down, how does anyone else pull the lever? <laughs> Woo, that was close. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? 
It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. <laughs>